The music of Turkey includes diverse elements ranging from Central Asian folk music to influences from Arabic music, Byzantine music, Greek music, Ottoman music, Persian music, Armenian music, and Balkan music, as well as references to more modern European and American popular music. Turkey is a country on the northeastern shore of the Mediterranean Sea, and is a crossroad of cultures from across Europe, North Africa, the Middle East, the Caucasus and South and Central Asia. The roots of traditional music in Turkey spans across centuries to a time when the Seljuk Turks colonized Anatolia and Persia in the 11th century and contains elements of both Turkic and pre-Turkic influences. Much of its modern popular music can trace its roots to the emergence in the early 1930s drive for westernization. With the assimilation of immigrants from various regions the diversity of musical genres and musical instrumentation also expanded. Turkey has also seen documented folk music and recorded popular music produced in the ethnic styles of Greek, Armenian, Albanian, Polish. Azeri and Jewish communities, among others. Many Turkish cities and towns have vibrant local music scenes which, in turn, support a number of regional musical styles. Despite this, however, a Western-style pop music lost popularity to Arabesque in the late 70s and 80s, with even its greatest proponents AJDA Pekin and Cezanne Aksu falling in status. It became popular again by the beginning of the 1990s, as a result of an opening economy and society. With the support of Aksu, the resurging popularity of pop music gave rise to several international Turkish pop stars such as Tarkin and Sertaberina. The late 1990s also saw an emergence of underground music producing alternative Turkish rock, electronica, hip-hop. Rap and dance music in opposition to the mainstream corporate pop and arabesque genres, which many believe have become too commercial. Classical music Ottoman court music has a large and varied system of modes or scales known as makims, and other rules of composition. A number of notation systems were used for transcribing classical music the most dominant being the hampasum notation in use until the gradual introduction of Western notation. Turkish classical music is taught in conservatories and social clubs, the most respected of which is Istanbul's Uskuda Müziki Semiyeti. A specific sequence of classical Turkish musical forms become a fasal, a sweet and instrumental prelude, an instrumental posalude, and in between. The main section of vocal compositions which begins with an is punctuated by instrumental improvisations taxim. A full facile concert would include four different instrumental forms and three vocal forms, including a light classical song, saki. A strictly classical facile remains is the same makam throughout, from the introductory taxim and usually ending in a dance tune or oyan have Asia. However, shorter saki compositions, precursors to modern-day songs, are a part of this tradition, many of them extremely old. Dating back to the 14th century, many are newer, with late 19th century songwriter Hasi Arov Bey being especially popular. Composers and performers other famous proponents of this genre include Sufi Dede Effendi, Prince Kantamir, Baba Hampasam, Kemani Tachios Effendi, Sultan Selim III and Sultan Suleiman the Magnificent. The most popular modern Turkish classical singer is Munir Nureddin Selkuk, who was the first to establish a lead singer position. Other performers include Bülent Ersoy, Zeki Mureen, Muzi Ying Senar and Zeki Tunka. Musical instruments Traditional instruments in Turkish classical music today include tanbur long-necked plucked lute, ney and blown flute. Kemen's bowed fiddle, oud plucked short necked unfretted lute, can unplucked zither, violin, and in Mevlevi music, kurdum drum and a harp. Ottoman harem music, belly dancing from the makams of the royal courts to the melodies of the royal harems. A type of dance music emerged that was different from the Oyan Havasia of facile music. In the Ottoman Empire, the harem was that part of a house set apart for the women of the family. 
It was a place in which non-family males were not allowed. Eunuchs guarded the sultan's harems, which were quite large, including several hundred women who were wives and concubines. There, female dancers and musicians entertained the women living in the harem. Their lead dance was performed by women for women. This female dancer, known as Arakas, hardly ever appeared in public. This type of harem music was taken out of the sultan's private living quarters into the public by male street entertainers and hired dancers of the Ottoman Empire, the male rakas. These dancers performed publicly for wedding celebrations, feasts, festivals, and in the presence of the sultans. Modern oriental dance in Turkey is derived from this tradition of the Ottoman rakas. Some mistakenly believe that Turkish oriental dancing is known as Sifteteli due to the fact that this style of music has been incorporated into oriental dancing by Greeks, illustrated by the fact that the Greek belly dance is sometimes mistakenly called Sifteteli. However, Sifteteli is now a form of folk music with names of songs that describe their local origins, whereas Rakus, as the name suggests, is possibly of a more Mideastern origin. Dancers are also known for their adept use of finger symbols as instruments, also known as zils. Romani influences Romani are known throughout Turkey for their musicianship. Their urban music brought echoes of classical Turkish music to the public via the Mehane or Taverna. This type of facile music with food and alcoholic beverages is often associated with the underclass of Turkish society though it also can be found in more respectable establishments in modern times. Roma have also influenced the facile itself. Played in music halls, the dance music required at the end of each facile has been incorporated with Ottoman rakas or belly dancing motifs. The rhythmic ostinator accompanying the instrumental improvisation for the belly dance parallels that of the classical gazelle, evocal improvisation in free rhythm with rhythmic accompaniment. Popular musical instruments in this kind of facile are the clarinet, violin, kanan, and darbuka. Clarinetist Mustafa Kandi Rali is a well-known facile musician. Military music The Janissary Bands or Mater Takimi is considered to be the oldest type of military marching band in the world. Individual instrumentalists were mentioned in the Orhan inscriptions, which are believed to be the oldest written sources of Turkish history, dating from the 8th century. However, they were not definitively mentioned as bands until the 13th century. The rest of Europe borrowed the notion of military marching bands from Turkey from the 16th century onwards. Turkish influence on Western classical music Musical relations between the Turks and the rest of Europe can be traced back many centuries. And the first type of musical Orientalism was the Turkish style. European classical composers in the 18th century were fascinated by Turkish music particularly the strong role given to the brass and percussion instruments in Janissary bands. Joseph Haydn wrote his military symphony to include Turkish instruments, as well as some of his operas. Turkish instruments were included in Ludwig van Beethoven's Symphony No. 9, and he composed a Turkish march for his incidental music to the ruins of Athens, op. 113. Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart wrote the Ronda alla Turca in his sonata in A major and also used Turkish themes in his operas, such as the chorus of Janissaries from his Die and Furung os dem Serail. This Turkish influence introduced the cymbals, bass drum, and bells into the symphony orchestra, where they remain. Jazz musician Dave Brubeck wrote his Blue Rondo a la Turk as a tribute to Mozart and Turkish music. Western influence on Turkish classical music While the European military bands of the 18th century introduced the percussion instruments of the Ottoman Janissary bands, a reciprocal influence emerged in the 19th century in the form of the Europeanization of the Ottoman army band. In 1827, Giuseppe Donizetti, the elder brother of the renowned Italian opera composer Gattano Donizetti, was invited to become master of music to Sultan Mahmud II. 
A successor of Donny's AT was the German musician Paul Longy, formerly music lecturer at the American College for Girls and at the German High School, who took over the position of master of the Sultan's music after the Young Turkish Revolution in 1908 and kept it until his death in 1920. A son of Paul Longy was the Istanbul-born American conductor Hans Longy. After the decline of the Ottoman Empire and the creation of a Turkish Republic, the transfer of the former imperial orchestra or Mizakura I Homayan from Istanbul to the new capital of the state Ankara, and renaming it as the Orchestra of the Presidency of the Republic Riaset I Kum Her Orchestrasia, signaled a westernization of Turkish music. The name would later be changed to the Presidential Symphony Orchestra or Cum Herbaskan Lidi Sanfoni Orchestrasia. Further inroads came with the founding of a new school for the training of Western-style music instructors in 1924, renaming the Istanbul Oriental Music School as the Istanbul Conservatory in 1926 and sending talented young musicians abroad for further music education. These students include well-known Turkish composers such as Semel Reset Ray, Alvi Semel Erkan, Ahmet Adnan Sagan, Nesel Kazim Axis and Hasan Ferit Alna, who became known as the Turkish Five. The founding of the Ankara State Conservatory with the aid of the German composer and music theorist Paul Hindemith in 1936 showed that Turkey in terms of music wanted to be like the West. However, on the order of the founder of the Republic Ataturk, following his philosophy to take from the West but to remain Turkish in essence, a wide-scale classification and archiving of samples of Turkish folk music from around Anatolia was launched in 1924 and continued until 1953 to collect around 10,000 folk songs. Hungarian composer B. Yakutele Bartok visited Ankara and the southeastern Turkey in 1936 within the context of these works. By 1976, Turkish classical music had undergone a renaissance and a state musical conservatory in Istanbul was founded to give classical musicians the same support as folk musicians. Modern-day advocates of Western classical music in Turkey include Faisal Say, Idol Barrett, Suna Khan and the Pekanel sisters.